So I started my tripod adventure out with the Bog Death Grip. And I have the one that most people have. Mine's the aluminum version, not the carbon fiber version. But the only thing that's bad about them, in my opinion, is that they don't have a center post in them like a lot of other tripods have for additional elevation adjustment once you get them set. So for example, if I'm hunting with my stepson in our one hard-sided blind, it's a Booner Thunderdome, shooting out the vertical windows, that's how we have it set up and it's fine for that. But if he has to stand up and shoot out of one of the horizontal windows in the back, then we're gonna have to loosen all three legs while there's deer close by, raise the whole thing up to where it's good for him and then tighten up all three legs again. It'd be a lot easier if it just had center post adjustment and Bob does make one with a center post adjustment, but it's about $550, not an amount that I want to spend right now. There's links to these products in the description. So what I thought I would do is I would get a Silk Pro, which is a very nice tripod, and I would just put a bog head onto it. So we're going to take a look at that process and what I learned. You know, this eventually is going to do that. Jumping ahead, here's the inside of the bog head and check out this action and it's really smooth so what it has these threads face this way and these threads face this way so that when you turn it both pieces either go in or they both go out and when it's not on the head or not on the tripod it's really smooth and what holds it all together are these silver posts one two three four it is super smooth So we'll take a look at how I received the tripod, then we'll take a look at the box, and the model number, and then how well it was packaged. It was also in a plastic bag. And the things you also receive are an Allen wrench, warranty card, handle, and instructions. First of all, the reason why I got the Silk Pro is this right here. It has the center post elevation adjustment, unlike the bog does not have that. So on the bog, if you wanna raise this up or down after you're already set, you have to loosen you know, all three legs to go up and down. And especially in a hunting situation, if you have to make a quick adjustment, you're just loosening this little knob right here, and then that's gonna move up and down, and then you can tighten it back up wherever you need it. So these are heart drop mini hangers. If I can get the bends figured out, those will be available for in a few months here. And this is the head on the bog. I do not know if this comes off, but I know that you can order one of these heads, so I might have to do that. So I'm gonna see if this will come off of here. This, this whole piece is really nice and smooth. As you tighten this handle, that determines how fluidly this thing functions and this works really well. Adapting the plate was really easy. I just had to get the holes in the right place. Then I was able to use the screws from the bog to put this plate onto the bog, but the screws were sticking out too far, so I took them over to the lathe, and I made two small cuts just to face off the end of the screw to make them shorter. As I was doing this, that ended up pushing some metal into the hole for the Allen wrench, but I was able to just take a small flat screwdriver and pop that metal out. You see how the hole is getting smaller. So then once I did that, they did mount in there just under flush and it had to fit onto the Silk Pro real easily. And then here it is with the crossbow in there. Then we're, I'm just gonna give you a tiny demonstration because I was actually hunting, I didn't wanna be moving a lot. But that left leg, I had it at a different angle because it has three angles, just like the bog. You just pull that little puller out right there. And then a tiny panning demonstration and a real small tilting demonstration. Cause I was hunting, I didn't want to make a lot of movement. All right, so overall the Bog Death Grip versus the Silk Pro. The Bog is awesome for crossbows. And I think that the Silk Pro is gonna be pretty awesome for cameras. And that's what these two things are made for. So that's how I'm gonna use them. The Silk Pro, does have three different angles for the legs. You just pull this little collar out here and then it catches on either this notch or this notch. So you do have the same three adjustments like the bog has, one there, two there, and three there. So it does have that feature. 
The advantage of the Silk Pro, it has this post here, which moves the whole head up and down for minute adjustments. And that's what the bog does not have. If you're gonna be adjusting the bog after you have it set in place, you're gonna to have to probably loosen one, two, three legs. And keep in mind, if you're sitting here, that one's gonna be kind of hard to reach. So that's how you're gonna to have to elevate, adjust this. But other than that, it's great. A lot of times you're gonna be in a blind where you don't need to adjust the elevation on the bog. So I'm gonna use them how they're meant to be used. Thanks for watching. And you can click on the square if you wanna check out another bog death grip video.